Today, Britain's Queen Elizabeth will mark 60 years on the throne. Let's take a live look this morning at Buckingham Palace, where ceremonies are set to begin at 5.30 our time. They include a church service and then a celebratory carriage ride back to Buckingham Palace once again. But last night, it was all about the music, and ABC's Diana Perez has a look back at what was Monday's festivities. Take a look. On the third day of Britain's four-day Jubilee celebrations, Britain's musical royalty was called upon to perform for the Queen. Sir Elton John and Sir Paul McCartney led a star-studded cast, emblematic of Britain's preeminence on the world music scene, at a pop concert in front of the Queen's residence, Buckingham Palace. Performers were chosen to represent an array of music that Britain has put out over the 60 years of the Queen's reign. Some old standbys from the 50s and 60s to pop stars of the moment. All came together for this outpouring of love for their Queen. As for the Queen herself, her music tastes are a state secret. But the 86-year-old monarch did arrive at the concert wearing earplugs. She was joined in the royal box, specially constructed outside of the palace, by Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, and Princes William and Harry. Not in attendance, the Queen's constant companion of the past 64 years, her husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Philip, 91, was taken to the hospital Monday with a bladder infection. The only sad thing about this evening is that my father couldn't be here with us. He'll remain in the hospital for observation, missing Tuesday's Jubilee conclusion, a service at St. Paul's Cathedral and a carriage procession through the city's streets. Diana Perez, ABC News, New York.